Hey gang, I know that I promised that I would be more consistent with videos, but yeah, that's not going to happen right now. Today, filming this is Friday. Um, yesterday, went with my neighbor. He has a really good friend who lives like six hours away, and one of his his parents had died, so they had to clean out the house in order the house is sold. So we went over there, we were going to get a bunch of firewood. Turns out there was so much stuff in the basement that instead of getting firewood, we got metal. Um, <clears throat> leaf springs, coil springs, 52100. 4140, A2, A6, um, more threaded rod, like 10 to 15 foot sections that you can shake a stick at, a bunch of mild steel, and the picture of that old pedal whetstone. It functions perfect. I don't need to do anything to it, but I may, that may be a video where I take it apart, clean it, make it look spiffy and brand new. The thing is awesome. I couldn't just let it sit there. But what happened was some of that round stock was like two inches around and a foot 18 inches tall. Well, I ruptured my right bicep tendon. My bicep is now just a big baseball. Yeah, so I'm going to give that some time to heal. The only way to really fix it is do surgery, which I'm not going to do. It didn't totally um, dispatch from the bone. I did my left one three, four years ago when COVID came and we were putting footers in in the garage to insulate and put the OSB up on the walls and I was in an awkward position and I hit the hammer and I popped the left one and it would be surgery, they can't guarantee anything. You'd be six to eight weeks in a big foam piece to my body like this and then th therapy after and they say you might lose some rotation so yeah I'm not going to do the surgery I'm just going to take it easy for a while so just so you know that's what's going on with added videos we'll see how my arm feels and you can see over here this has been a couple of things I've been working on in CAD, practicing my design drawing and practicing how to set up the um, 3D printer. So I modeled and made an ice cube tray, two different styles of bottles, so I'm starting to get the hang of that. And I intend to use that to um, map out some knives in the CAD and then print them, if I can, size-wise, um, to get the feel of how they'd be in the hand, shapes, etc., things like that. So that's where we're at. Sorry to disappoint. I hope you all are doing well. Daisy and I thank you for following along. See you later.